Hello, I'm Michael from Bear on the Keyboard. This is Star Fox Sunday. And as you can see, you can see me. Uh, figured I'd give this a shot. M maybe more people want to chill out, relax with me, drink a big old beer. I wasn't lying when I said I had a big old beer. Um, play some Star Fox with me. Let's check it out. All right. So I actually had a suggestion from a fan on this one. Uh, well, less of a fan, more of a, a friend of mine who constantly naysays everything I do and uh, talks a lot of shit about this, uh, both the, the YouTube channel and the podcast. I'm cool with that. It's whatever. It's all in good fun. We've known each other since we were kids. But uh, he's going to make mad fun of me being in the picture in a picture. I guarantee that. But um, anyway, so uh, yeah, he actually had a suggestion for a Star Fox Sunday route. He told me to take the route where you fight the Star Wolf team twice. So I have to fight them on Fortuna, and then fight them again on Venom 2. So, uh, yeah, there's there's a few different routes where I could take to do that. I figured the easiest kind of one to do... No, not necessarily easiest, but I think the one that will be the most interesting, probably the least number of levels I've done and everything so far, is um, going to be going from Corneria to Mateo to Fortuna to Solar, then over to Macbeth, over to Area 6, and then on to Venom 2. So, fuck it. We'll give it a shot. So, he explicitly told me that he wanted me to do this one. Skip, skip, skip. Because when you beat the Star Wolf team the second time, well, when you fight the Star Wolf team the second time, they um, are actually, uh, they have like bandages and stuff from your last fight with them. They're all fuckered up. So, this should be interesting. Open the wing. Got my big old beer, Star Fox Sunday. Hopefully this fucker doesn't crash on me. Let's do this. Alright. What's funny is, I only feel vaguely self-conscious being on camera. It's kind of weird for me, but at the same time, it's like, eh, whatever. Clippy, watch out! Bogey on your tail! Good shot right there, good shot. This is going to be a super high scoring route, but, you know, it'll still be a fun one to do. This is Route 11, by the way. I think I already mentioned that, but Route 11 as numbered by the player's guide. That's where I'm getting all the numbers from, by the way. Uh, the player's guide has all the routes set up in different numbers. That's what I'm naming them after. That was terrible. Totally missed that guy. Oop. Wrong button there for a second. You've got an enemy on your tail. Use the brake. There really isn't much I have left to say about Corneria, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's Corneria. You beat this fucker a million, jillion times when you're playing this game. I'll take this one. Yeah, the, the one last level and the first level, you actually play more than any other level because, you know, Something's they always the start people. in the same place and always end in the same place. I guess I should be thankful. So, saved Falco, so I'm not going to go through the um, stone archers. Not that it matters. When you have Falco as a teammate, you can literally just change your course. So I can still beat the aircraft carrier, but instead of going to Sector Y, I can just go right back to Mateo. I think out of every Star Fox Sunday where I've been playing this, I've been skipping that bomb. I this time I finally like, fuck it, I'm gonna pick that up. Try a somersault! Enemy robot, get ahead! Let's go! Mode. 
Let's kill the easiest boss in the game. Watch me die on this guy. I'm going you annoying little fly. And beat him before the shield gauge. It's big old beer time. So that was Corneria for the umpteenth time. I don't think there's much I haven't said about Corneria. I don't think I've read the description of the boss yet. Granga is the name of that boss. Granga, oh no, Granga is actually the little ape who drives the huge bot boss at the end of Route 1. He thinks he's safe in his huge walker. But the bot is one of the most vulnerable targets in the game. You can pretty much hit him however the fuck you want. So for Mateo, scientists speculate that the d dense planetoid field of Mateo is the was actually the remains of the ninth planet of the Lilat system. The planetoids here uh, contain many minerals, but the depth of the field has not been explored. Space travel in the sector is not recommended. Number of objects is uh, 1.32 to the E6 power. It's quite a bit. Average albedo is not very much. Average radius is only 20 space kilometers. Let's do it. Impressive. So I'm beating the stupid crusher on this one. Fucking hate that boss. That guy's a piece of shit. For the second level in the game, I actually really like this one a lot. Well, one of the second levels of the game. Actually, yeah, I like Sector Y a lot, too, so I like both of the second levels of the game. Don't mess up that R -way. Ooh, messed up my R-Wing. It's quiet. Too quiet. Too quiet. Be careful, it's a trap! Use bombs wisely! Yeah. Did you hear the sound effect? Nope, there was. Try a somersault. Try a somersault. Here comes a big one. Peppy always tells you just to do shit. That kind of pisses me off about that guy. Fox, do this. Fox, do that. It's quiet. Too quiet. Well, I guess quiet, too quiet isn't telling you what to do, but whatever. You know what I mean. Whoa! Can you make it? Use the brake. Use the boost to get through. Location confirmed. Watch out, Fox! Okay, alright. Let's fuck these guys up. I'm not talking a lot on this one. Star Fox Sunday is supposed to be my meditative experience anyway, and yeah, I don't need to fucking talk all the time. I don't need to be entertaining. Point of fact, most meditative experiences, you're remaining pretty quiet. I always have trouble getting those lock-ons in the triangle, guys. Or the triangle formation. Well, I guess they are shaped like triangles, too. But yeah, the triangle guys who fly in the triangle formation. 
I guess it's more of a chevron. In any case, though, uh, yeah, I always have trouble getting a lock on that middle guy, man. I guess it's your turn to be thanked. Do, 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 do. I've said it before in a previous episode, but the music in this game is so great. I don't always play with headphones. Sometimes I'll just turn the uh, TV down really low. You want a piece of me? And uh, just kind of barely listen to it, but felt like playing with headphones this time. I mean, I got the picture in a picture going on. I may as well complete the whole streamer setup and put a pair of headphones on, too. But also, I just, I don't know, I really wanted to hear it, and, uh, man, with headphones, you can really, like, really get all the nuances of that music. Such a great soundtrack. You can also lock on the enemies this way. Good going, Buck. Never give up. All right. Let's hit plus sevens are pretty rad. All right. See, always telling you what to do. Just shoot it, Fox. Shoot what, asshole? Like all the fucking rocks that are just caterwauling towards me? Come on. Here's this boss fucker. The Mateo Crusher. Cleans up messy areas of space where unwanted asteroids and planets block space lanes. Wouldn't seem like cleaning up four R wings should be much of a problem. It's your job to see that it is. Let's see what you've got. Now, obviously, they don't want to just like hand you every level on a silver platter, but I think there should be like your teammates should help out a little bit more. Like keeping that alive should be more relevant to gameplay. Now, obviously, against Star Wolf, it's a bigger issue. Because they're all chasing you down instead of one per um, you and your wingman. Big old beer break. No match for you. I admit defeat. Are you gonna listen to that monkey? Uh, you're, you're not, not as, as stupid as you look. As you look. Man, fuck you. I can't believe I lost to this dumb! Sorry to Jet, but I'm in a hurry. Alright, fucking up the Star Wolf team on Fortuna now. All aircraft you guys have seen me done, do this before, but this time all my teammates are alive, so I might actually meddle here. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. I remember actually Fortuna was the first uh, level I ever got a medal on. Better, it's, it's pretty easy. Each one of the Star Wolf team is worth 10. Um, it only costs, I think it's only 50 hits to get the rank, or not to get the rank in, but to get the medal. And then, yeah, there's plenty of other fighters floating around that you can shoot down. Well, actually, it's 11, because it's hit plus 10. So each one of the Star Wolf team is 11 points. So that's 44 points. All you gotta do is shoot six more fighters. It's real easy. Let's get that medal. Recover our base from the enemy army. Roger. Or not, or have the game fucking crash again. Fortuna was the last time this happened. Well, not the last time, but last time I was on Fortuna that happened. So the same friend who um, told me I should do this route... Wow, that guy just straight up crashed. The same friend who told me I should do this route... Also, um, I was talking to him about possibly trying to speedrun Star Fox. Weird game to try and speedrun. You definitely have to find an optimized route, and then you would be basically boosting through every level that wasn't, um, like this, like an all-range mode level. 
But then the all range modes you have you would have to fucking nail first try. Yeah, you know, it'd be an interesting game to attempt a speedrun at. I would actually like to see what some of the um the leaderboards say. I've never really tried a speedrun before, but I've played a lot of video games. I'm pretty good at some of them. Man, these guys are just fucking crashing into shit. These Invader 1s suck ass, Andros, man. His pilots are all drunk. Let's pick up the Star Wolf team. Can anyone take care of it? Can't let you do that. Andros has ordered us to take you down. Happy. Long time I don't know why I wasn't see. skipping that, man. I could have been shooting at him the whole time. Andros's enemy is my enemy. Just what I need to see. Star Wolf. Let's take care of these guys first. You're not as tough as One down. Woo! That was too close. You'll be seeing your dad soon, Pop. Uncle Andros. Shoot! He's right behind you. Come on, come on. Hey, Einstein! I'm on your side. You're not so tough. On where you at, fucker? I can't shake this guy. Shoot, he's right behind you. Gee, I've been sick. I can't move. Just wolf down, just gotta take out Leon. There's one more to go. Shoot me down. Jesus. Well, props, Falco. I'll take care of the bomb I don't think now. I've ever heard that line spoken before. I guess your teammates do fucking help. Well, it was Falco, to be fair. He's probably the best pilot out of the out of the three of them. And I also weakened him a shitload. Yeah, I've never heard them utter the phrase, I've got the last one. That's crazy. And I still meddled. And they all got shot down, so missing accomplished. Cool. All's well that ends well. But yeah, that's how easy it is to get a medal on this one. I got the medal and Falco shot down the last fucking Star Wolf member. Huh, yeah, cool. On to do 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 the sun. I think there's much about the sun I haven't already said. I kind of hate it. I think it's a stupid level. And, but the boss is rad. I did mention how cool the boss was. Oh, here we go. Here's a little blurb. One cool hot spot with a surface temperature in excess of 3,500 degrees Kelvin. Kelvin's not in degrees. It's just 3,500 Kelvin. It's FYI. Solar is the undisputed hotspot in the Lilat system. When measured against other stars in the system, however, solar looks downright frigid. It's an M-class red dwarf, one of the coldest stars in the universe. In contrast, solar's antithesis, a B-class B blue star, say that five times fast, has a searing surface temperature of 25,000 Kelvin, not degrees, and a life expectancy of a couple billion years. Luckily, M-class stars burn the slowest and last the longest. Scientists predict that solar will keep shining in the lilac system for a hundred billion years or more. So, uh, clearly that piece of trivia that lilac is a uh, binary system is uh, post Star Fox 64. Or at least it wasn't beknownst to the people who wrote the Player's Guide. 
or else they probably would have been like, yeah, the blue star lilac's gonna explode way before solar and fuck up the lilac system way before solar becomes a problem. You guys tell me what to do again. I think Peppy has probably seen... I mean, Peppy probably sees Fox as a sun figure. Like, I don't... I'm not sure if Fox sees Peppy as a father figure, but, um... Peppy definitely sees Fox as, like... Like, he, like he's tried to be his caregiver. Probably because he feels like he, uh... owes James McLeod one. Probably because they were fucking. That's what Gina would say. Probably because Peppy was getting fucked by your dad. Whatever. People can just be friends. Probably grew up knowing Peppy. He's probably like Uncle Peppy to you. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Totally blow up those arches too. Good It's too hot. I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna pull up, Slippy. God damn it. Happy said, don't fly too low. Slippy's like, fuck you, Peppy, I have a dad. And Fox is just like, aww. Lots of shit on the surface of the sun. Crazy lava birds and lots of fucking rocks. I like how they treat the surface of a star like it's um lava, not like, you know, a ball of plasma. Like there wouldn't be just rocks shooting out of it willy nilly. Oh, well, you need to meddle on this one. This is the enemy's bio oh, a hundred. Damn, I was really close. That sucks. Is an insane... Well, I'll get it next time. Data analysis complete. Here it comes. Maybe it's an arm. Aim for the arm. Like, all the crazy shit you see in this game. He's like, maybe it's an arm. Aim for the arm. Like, it's clearly an arm. This thing looks humanoid in nature. Like, it looks like it has a torso, a head, and two arms. so much about other weapons too he's like shoot the three tentacles to unlock the core in area six it's like or shoot the three tentacles to like open up the middle whatever the fuck he says and he's like now destroy all three energy balls it's like how do you know so much about this dude you're not the engineer you didn't scan it shields <coughs> rat is star fox boss death once again just gotta point that out again Mission four done. All aircraft report. On to Macbeth. I'm having some trouble here. Oh, shut up, Slippy. You're fine. Such a whiner. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. You worry about your own hide. And Falco, so indignant. Like, how is everybody? He's like, shut the fuck up, Fox. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Damn, dude, settle down. Worry about yourself. 
Oh, to be bad with a full load of bombs. So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea. Good luck. So what? Fox like finished his battle plan. It's like you're gonna attack the enemy great enemy base. Great idea, Fox. You're doing it on a tank when you're fighting a train. Oh, that's stupid. I'm taking it out. Never mind. Stupid idea, Fox. Hyenas is probably really insulting to the people of Corneria because they're like related to dogs but not quite the same. Here they come. Just like how Falco's like, you gonna listen to that monkey? There's a lot of just like casual racism in uh, Star Fox. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Like, obviously, we're talking about anthropomorphic animals here, so. Probably shouldn't draw comparisons to real life stuff. But, like, yeah, straight up. Just calling each other, like. I mean, I guess monkey isn't a racial slur if you're a fucking monkey. But, I, I mean, I guess if you're an ape or something, though, and you get called a monkey, then I guess that could be insulting. Oh, like, if you're a hyena and you're really, like, a bulldog or whatever, also insulting. Oh, I won't. I don't... What the hell is this? Oh, the, the supply depot is probably the place that you blow up. So I've heard that line a million times and never really sat and thought about it. I don't want to blow that up. I guess I should be thankful. Ah, hovering. Yeah, no shit, Peppy. Fuck else do you think I'm gonna do? Such an asshole. Yeah. I love the way the tank rolls. Even though, again, you're telling me what to do. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. I didn't expect to have you this. You're very lucky. Every route so far that's taken me through Macbeth, I've just skipped this boss fight. I really have to beat him one of these days. Alright. Ooh, you scooped me. You done scooped me. 
But, you know, fuck them anyway. Yeah, I never really read about the boss. There's like actually a pretty fascinating blurb about um, the boss proper, but I'm not gonna read that yet. I'll wait until I'm actually fighting him, or when I go on a route that actually takes me to fight him. Serious six. So I've been saying for a while. I remember couple episodes ago. <clears throat> wanted to read a little blurb, interesting little blurb about the Great Fox that's for some reason tucked away in the um, Area 6 part of the Player's Guide. I'll wait until it's through this nonsense. Man, excuse me. So, the Great Fox. Developed by R Space Dynamics Co. Ltd., manufacturer of the R Wing fighter, Great Fox was custom built under the direction of James McLeod, featuring three NTD FX9 plasma engines. Great Fox is light speed capable and has a real space cruising speed that nearly matches that of the R Wings. It's pretty impressive. Uh, power to its two TNBH9 hyper laser cans is routed directly from the plasma engines, giving the ship the ability to punch through even a Zerum class cruiser shields, which is one of the ships in Area 6. Rob 64 was developed in conjunction with the Great Fox and is hardwired directly to the ship's primary computer. James McLeod took a, out a low interest 80 year mortgage to purchase the Great Fox, a debt that his son is doing his best to repay. So that's why you're, uh, you know, make sure to give uh, General Pepper that invoice at the end. It's almost over. We're in your debt. Come back in one piece, Fox. Well, do, General. Will do, General. Came in here. Nope. Entering Venom Air Defense Zone. Everybody stay alert! Space mines ahead! Oh man, I fucked up a bunch of mines. Again, telling me what to do all the time, man. Peppy, lay off. Did we get him? What's your deal, Falco? Oh, yes, you alright, bud? Fuckers. The 
Allies broken through the first line. We're gonna break through that fleet. Um, if I beat this boss, hit plus 10, this will be the best, personal best score I've ever gotten on this. So, yeah, you medal at 300, I think the best I've ever done was like 360 something. So, 376 is what this will be if I beat him with hit plus 10, and yeah, this will be my personal best. Very cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've said it before, I suck at this game compared to some people, man. I've seen people get like 600 points on this. But I'm uh, only pretty good at games. Uh, get your missile bullshit out of here. I took off my wings last time, I think. Shoot them tentacles. Just shoot you right in the testicles. That's right, I said testicles. I meant it. Shoot the tentacles to open the door. Ah! No, 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 no. Fuck off. I mean, shit, if I'm gonna get a plus, hit plus five on him, I'll still beat my personal best. And Seizure City, cool. Destroy all three energy balls! Destroy your energy balls, Peppy! The shield is gone! Shoot the core! Yippee! Cool. You oh, hit plus it. 10. Nice. Yeah, 376. Solid. I'm into it. This, um, like, despite this being the highest score needed to get a medal, this mission's not that hard to get a medal on. Like, definitely wasn't the last one that, um, I got a medal on. Hold on. We're entering Venom airspace. It's just so much shit to shoot. Like, if I can push 400... You know, at, ab at above amateur levels, slightly above amateur levels, then yeah, it's not super hard to get that medal. Let's see how you handle our new ships. Nice, got some hits in there. Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. Oh shit, do they have the band-aids? I don't see the band-aids. We'll 
It's supposed to be all bandaged up because I beat him earlier. Or maybe it's just Wolf. He totally has bandages. Nice. I'm gonna bust you up real good. Oh. There's one more to go. Oops. Hey, what's the Sorry, slip. You look like an enemy, Slippy, damn it. Sweet. First fucking times I get the full points on this one too, damn. I'm not gonna bother looking up what route to take. This is a map of this area in the player's guide, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I got hyper lasers, I got two bombs, I'm good. Would be nice to go in with full shields, get a couple of uh, gold rings, but I don't know, whatever. Not sweating it. One up. I've done this before. I remember getting that one up before. Whatever. Back up, you monkey! your balls off. Eyeballs, that is. How does he... I guess I shouldn't even question it. Whoa. Holy shit. Eyeballs chase you? I never noticed that before. It's never... It's hardly... Yeah, that's weird. Fuck, the eyeballs chase you? Every time I've beaten... It's weird. it's weird. Like, the more and more I play this game, the more weird shit I notice about it. And it's... I don't know. It's kind of cool. Like, this isn't just become, like, a meditative experience for me. It's more like an exploration into, like, my childhood, too, you know? Because it's like... So, i play this game a million, million times, and there's, like, so many things I'm discovering new every time I play it. Ah! Yeah, fuck it. Don't ever give up, my son. Father? Follow me, Fox. This way, Fox. Give up. 
trust your instincts. You know, you think your dad would slow down a little if he was trying to fucking help you out of here. It's like boosting all the time and being like, Oh, uh, turn this way, turn that way. Well, he doesn't even say. He could just tell you. You've become so strong, uh, He's just an illusion or a fucking ghost or some shit anyway, so it doesn't matter. And there you go. Beat Route 11. Uh... First try in a warm-up, too. Not only did the game not crash this entire time, but, uh, which is a blessing. I, I feel like maybe the game was just sick of me not playing it enough, and now that I'm doing this on a weekly basis, it's like, okay, we're cool now. Uh, yeah, also no deaths, and I don't think I lost any of my wingmen the whole time, too, so, cool. Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Not a terrible score. 12 12. You do a lot worse, that's for sure. And like I said, personal best in Area 6, so that's rad. Now, where I'm at the point where I'm like, damn, I wish I had more beer to drink. I mean, I literally have more beer to drink, but I wish I had more beer to drink with me right now. Because these credits go on for a grip. So just read my player's guide in the meantime. All right. Oh, speaking of which. Told you it's got like cool blueprints and stuff in there. Oh yeah, that's the Landmaster Blue Marine one. Pretty cool. What's to say about the R wing anyway? A space superiority fighter. 18.5 meters long, 5.5 meters tall, maximum speed is Mach 4.2 in atmosphere, engine is an NTD FX1 plasma engine with G diffuser, armament is a TNB H1 laser cannon, TNB, that was the same company that did the, or same type rather, I don't know if it's a company, same uh, type of laser on the Gray Fox, and a smart bomb launcher. Comments developed under R Space Dynamics Co. LTD under exclusive contract because of the complexity of its components, most notably it's the G Diffuser system. The R Wing is not slated for full production. Four prototypes have been made available to the Star Fox team for flight and combat testing. Yeah, for all the schematics, it says TNB and then letter number laser cannon. So TNB must be like an in. Star Fox, we are in your an in game. I would be honored to have you as part of the Cornarian. Oh, no, deep lore, Thank like laser weapon company or something. That's pretty cool. Like H and K. Ray it's like Heckler Koch. It's time for us to go now. God damn, what route should I take next? I took a suggested route and actually worked out great. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, not a bad score on it. Altogether, it's not a great scoring route. Fortuna isn't a super high scoring route or a super high scoring level. Neither is Solar. Um, Yeah, there's, there's lots of different combinations, lots of different options. Shit, should I attempt a speed run on my next one? I don't know. Leave a comment. You guys tell me. Take this time to do all my shoutouts, too. Beer on the keyboard. Check out the other stuff we got going on the channel. I'll throw some links up at the end of this, obviously. 
Also, at Beer Keyboard is our handle for like all social media things. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok. Uh, check out our podcast too. The links in the description. Uh, I say our because normally uh, Justin's here with me. Star Fox Sundays is my thing, though. It's what I do. But we play a lot of different games together, and we talk about a lot of different things on the podcast. Mostly about beer. But, you know, whatever comes to mind. Barstool kind of chat stuff. We talk about sports, talk about video games, talk about movies. If you're interested in all of that, check us out. We'd appreciate it. Fucking fanfare at the end, man. Whew. Gets you jazzed. Gets you pumped up. In, of course. We'll see where we're at, though. Fourth place. Eh, not a bad one. Yeah, that area six, though. I like that, man. Yeah. That three that three seventy six, like that. Venom, of course, the maximum points for that. Macbeth wasn't too bad. Solar, I almost meddled on. I should have meddled on it. I should have got sixty three points on Fortuna, but uh, yeah, Falco shot him down. So whatever. Could have meddled on Corneria and Matteo, but I don't know. Wasn't trying super hard at that point. Yeah, not a bad score. Not a bad score for not a great route. I mean, it was a fun route, but it wasn't a great route for scores. Anyway, let's give Pepper that invoice, and this is Michael from Star Fox Sunday, man. Oh, and beer on the keyboard in general. Cheers. Cheers.